What is up guys, this is the uh, Tank Expert 13 back with some more Skyrim. Alright, so um if you guys haven't noticed, I went ahead and uh forged me some armor. We're in steel heavy armor. Um I didn't have to buy too much, but I had to buy a little bit, so I sold all the stuff I got in the cave coming out of uh coming out of Helgen and I create me some steel swords. You can't see that. Well, if I do this, you can. Steel swords, which look different than the iron swords, if you haven't noticed. But, um... Alright, I know last video, I didn't really do much of anything. I apologize for that, guys. Uh, I just really had to get it off my chest. So, um, pretty much I've talked to some of my friends. Um... And I've pretty much decided that I'm going to play this as I would play it. Kind of sh exploring, finding other stuff like that. Enough, I By the way, I did a, a friend relationship quest for this guy, and now I have a companion. So, we're about to go. Like I said, I was, um, I've decided that I'm going to play this how I would play it. How I played it the very first time I played it. Um, I didn't rush through the main quest. Um, and I had fun with it. Um, I know lately with these videos, I've been just trying to do it as, I don't know, I guess kind of as a job, because I'm looking at trying to make, trying to get enough stuff up there to become a YouTube partner. Um, but I've been doing it kind of like a job and not having as much fun with it. So with this one, I'm going to sit back and have some fun. I mean, it's going to take me forever and a day to get through this game anyway. So I'm going to go through and play this game how I would play it any other day of the week. So, alright guys, um, coming in here, uh, like I said, I've, played this game, I've already played this game before, but coming in here, there's actually a cave back here. Or more like a mine. Let me put my weapons up. More like a mine, and there's a bunch of bandits in there. We're going to go through and we're going to well, pawn some bandits. Um, plus I like the iron and stuff that's available in there, that way I can actually do some more forging stuff. But, um, so yeah, we're going to head into this mine and give it to some bandits. Uh, so, but yeah, like I said, I'm going to play this how I would play it any other day of the week. I don't have a pick, I don't know why, so I'll do that. Anyway, okay, where'd it go? There it is. Um, if you haven't noticed, uh... I don't know how many guys have played any of the Elder Scrolls games, but I have this nice little compass at the top of my screen that kind of shows me all the stuff that's nearby that I that's actually stuff to do. And the bigger it is, the closer you are to it. So I'm heading over here to this mine to have some fun. Oh god, that's a wolf. Ooh, two shot at a wolf. Okay, come on, let me search the wolf. Thank you. Uh, you want your arrows back, bro? You good? Alright, let's keep moving. I'll give them back to him eventually. Yeah, having a companion is the cool little aspect they added in this game. I don't know if it's in Oblivion. Like I said, I haven't played too much of Oblivion. This is the first Elder Scrolls game I played in Deathly. So, um, alright. Like I said, we just discovered the mine, so let's go in here and have some fun. Now ain't this okay, that was not very good at all. Uh, I didn't mean to take all that crap. Take that pickaxe though. Anyway. Alright, let's move on in here. Let's go, uh, on to Bennett's. Ready, Fendel? Let's go. Got my wood elf archer back here behind me. Great combination. Uh, if you like an up close, if you like a warrior or a sword master class, you really want a ranger behind you, behind you. that way you can actually, cause you can hold your own. You pretty, if you're playing this right, you can pretty much hold your own. As a um, an up close combat, um, but if you're a archer, you want a front front guy. Something that would get this trip down here. Don't like the looks of this. And it just got in my way. Wonderful. All right, don't get, don't get the tripwire. Go up here. Of course, you hit the tripwire. Actually, no, I hit the tripwire. I'm sorry. Well, anyway, let's move on through here. Mushrooms. <laughs> I don't know why I took a hit, but anyway, let's keep on moving. Oh, 
guy's dead, dude. Don't forget the rock trap, Hello. That's right. Eat them swords. Actually, I'm just gonna loot everything until I run out of room. All this stuff is sellable. So, I'm just gonna hit the loot all button and keep on trucking. So, la -de -la -de -la, more mushrooms. Dead guy with the journal. Hmm. I'll let you guys, uh, I'm not going to sit here and read this, but if you guys want to read it, you can pause the video here and read it. Eh, well, that's all there is. Oh, I'm going to take that. Oops. Try that again. Hear that. Alright, uh, I'll take that coin purse. You don't need any more, dude. Alright, let's head out of here. Let's head on up. I think there's somebody in here. It will be soon enough. I thought we had a guard posted outside. We did. Your eyes peeled. There, there, no? You check the end. I'm going to look over here. Huh? Hey, bro. I thought I heard something. Ah! <laughs> Them swords, fool. Oh man, don't fall down there. I can't loot you down there. Oh yeah, by the way, in the process of um, smithing and making this armor, I leveled up a level two. And now we're at level three. So let me show you guys this uh, leveling up menu, which is actually really cool. I love how they did it in this one. So if you hit tab button or whatever your uh, menu button is for whatever you're playing on, it looks the same no matter what, it's just different buttons you have to get there. Anyway, you hit level up and level up. Then you have this wonderful little thing. Um, last time I leveled up, I added the stamina because it's always good to have more stamina. So let's add it to health this time. And by the way, um, when you level up and you upgrade your health and your stamina, you get to all your little aspects or uh, magic, health, and stamina are filled up. The reason I'm not adding anything into magic, I don't really need anything with the. I'm not planning on using magic. If I use anything, it'll be like a resurrection spell to heal me up a little bit if I'm out of potions. So, um, yeah. Uh, but yeah, as soon as you level up, you actually, all your health, your stamina, and your magical will be refilled. Um, and you get every little, one, little, every little aspect of the game. Let's start with one-handed, which is what I'll probably want to put it into. And we'll just keep on going. You got, uh, this is all the, the stuff you can increase. You got one-handed, archery, light armor. Sneak, lock picking, pickpocketing, speech, alchemy, illusions, conjuring, con conjure, conjuration. Yeah, sorry, can't talk. Uh, destruction, resurrection, which I might be. Ah, I never really put anything to it. Doesn't help too much. Alteration, enchanting, smithing, which is what I put last time. Put it right here into steel smithing. That way I can make steel armor. Um, heavy armor. I don't think I can. I can do one thing. Yeah, what's this do? Uh, heavy armor, block, then two-handed. So I'm gonna put this in the one-handed just to make my pack, just to make my let my attacks do more damage. So, all right, let's keep on trucking through this place. La di la di la. Mushroom, mushroom. I already, I just came from this way. Wow, good one, good one, tank, good one. Anyway, let's keep on moving. Ooh, fire. Anyway, um, <laughs> keep on moving. Don't trap ADD. Hey, buddy. Come at me, bro. Come at me, bro. Hello. Oh, you're a jeep. I've never seen you before. One thing about this game, I swear, like, the people, how each individual person looks, and what type of people are in each um, little dungeon change every time you come through here. Like, no matter how many times you play this game, it's always different. 
No, no, no. Bring this back out. Yeah, like I said, I'm looting everything. If I don't need it, I'll sell it. <laughs> uh, ooh, clear warrants. I probably won't use it, but whatever. It just kind of gives you a way. To, if you get like stuck in like a uh, dungeon or somewhere like that, you can use that to get your way out or to get you to the next uh, objective or whatever. So that's kind of what that's for. I keep hitting the wrong button. Oh my god. Anyway. All right, let's go back here and get these mushrooms. Never go wrong with mushrooms. Um, by the way, just about everything is harvestable in this game. Um, and it's depending on what kind of potions you do, it's good to harvest stuff. I'm probably not going to do too many potions. I'll do some health. Oh, I thought I had unlocked that. I'll do some health potions, some other stuff like that, but that'd be the max of it. Because I'm not big on potions. Potions, like. I don't know, it depends if I have the stuff to make it. Like I said, I'm playing this differently. So I did the very first time, I always had stuff to make because I looted everything. <laughs> so, yeah. Now we got like 10 guys down here. Hello! Yep. Work. Oh, even if you hit it through blocks, it still hurts them. Hey, bro. Oh, they're up there. Thanks, Findle. He has an arrow sticking out of his face, and yet he survives. Dude, you need to level up your arching, your archery. Okay, just just do me a favor and level up your archery. Here, have this. Um. Yeah, these companions are one of the best things I think to add because you can. Ah, oh, hit the wrong button. Um, you can uh, uh, trade stuff with them. So once you're full, you can just give him a bunch of stuff and carry it back to his house. I'll take that key. Um, oh, perfect. That takes me over my limit. Good thing I'm about to give you a weapon or two. Um, you can probably find online and or if you have the strategy guide there, what um, each of the possible companions what their stats are. So I, th I think this guy's light armor and one-handed. Um, so I know there's a couple other guys that you can check out and see. I'm giving I think I have a steel one-handed mace somewhere. Just uh, I have three of these. Wow. Okay. Yeah, have one of these. Oh yeah, have one of these. Here. All right. Take them. There you go. Have those. Have some maces. Uh, so yeah, I think that should keep me loud enough. Now let's keep moving. Ah, there's more people. Let's go up there and get them. And one thing about the companions, the stuff you give them, if you give them like armor, they're actually put it on, which I should have done that. Um, yeah. Okay. Love how you ripped me open there, bro. That's good. Some um, some good ripping open there. Um, so yeah. Uh, back to what I was saying. If you give your companions stuff that's better than the stuff that he's using, then he will actually put it on. So watch this. I will give him some armor versus his clothes, and I'm gonna let him um uh, and kind of show you. Ooh, I have an all the Talos. I am putting that on right here, right now. Um, that's really good because it actually reduces your shouts, even though I'm not using any shouts right now. Um, eh, eh, yeah, here, take these. These look, those look cool. Crap, I don't want to put this on. Give. Give. And give. And if you see there that he is straight up, uh, put all that stuff on that I just gave him. Which is the cool little aspect of this game. Alright, you ready, bro? Uh, I hit the wrong button. Sorry about that, guys. I mean, like, every button except for the one I'm trying to hit. Wonderful. Oh, yeah. Torches. Here, have a torch. Actually, I'm going to grab a torch and I will give him one later on. 
they run, I run across plenty of them. If you give them a torch, it really helps out with your companions because it's actually that way. Um, when you go into like a dark area at night, it's actually really good for recording because the guy will be like, pull out his torch when you're not in battle and you can just sit there and uh, and you can just sit there and it actually adds light to the area. It's pretty cool. I'm gonna grab all that stuff. I will go through and cook that stuff up later probably. Alright, let's keep on moving. I don't think there's anything else down here. There's a forge and that's about it if I remember correctly. There's some weapons down here, some iron swords, some iron great swords. And of course I push you over the edge. Where you at, Finn? Come on. <sighs> Hurry up. God, you're slow. Get over here. Uh, don't, don't, don't run behind me. Stay right there. I've yeah, got your I need you to try, I need to try some stuff with you. What do you want me to carry? Um. Here, have some of this stuff. I don't care. You can put on whichever one you want. Hang it. Give, 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 give. Put that back on. Have this. This stuff actually might be better. All right, whatever. Put on what you, what's better. Oh, put the shield on. You gotta use the shields too. <laughs> uh, that's what I thought. No, you can have that back. You can have that too. Yeah, now I'm gonna carry what's below 305. So let's. Dang it! I keep hitting the wrong buttons. Lead, let's keep on trucking. Ooh. Yay, smithing increased 25. I will gladly take that book and probably sell it. Iron ore, iron ore. Iron ignite. These guys really could have some steel. I need. I upgraded. I've um, upgraded everything, except for my. Um, except for like my boots. Everything else is um, at superior rating, which I might. I'll probably actually show y'all how to upgrade stuff. Uh, once I get the stuff, I need to upgrade it. It won't take too long, so we'll let that go. Um, by the way, going back to kind of my upload thing, I've decided that I started doing this with my Fable series. I'm going to do it with this one as well. I want to grab the tomatoes. I'm never going to use those. Anyway, I decided with this one, dude, ballot, uh, I decided to do it with my Fable series, and I decided to probably add to this one as well. Um, what just happened? Okay. Um, I will... Well, I'm underground. That's why it's better. Um... I will play through a dungeon um, like this. I'm just going to call them dungeons. It's a cave, but whatever. It's technically a dungeon. But I will play through a dungeon, and I'll upload that as one video. That way I'm not having the stuff like I had last time with like 500 videos for one thing. So if it's a really long one, I might break it up. But if it's like 50, if it's anywhere from like 10 to to uh, like 20 minutes, I'll probably upload it. If it's too much more than 20 minutes, I'll great. I'll probably uh, I will probably uh, break it up to about 10 minutes each or so. Whatever the most even breaking up is possible. So that's my uh, thoughts on that. You guys can comment about that. Whatever. Um, but yeah, like I said, so the videos have become a little bit longer. Like, I think the big reason I wasn't having a lot of fun with this stuff is because the 10 minute videos just were, um, were just way too short. I wasn't having a lot of fun with that, so I've decided to break it up a little bit. I'm pretty sure you guys wasn't liking that either, because I don't like how the videos are working. Because I like break up in the middle, I have to break it up in the middle of a sentence, or in the middle of one of my sentences, and it's just, yeah. It just, I don't know, I just didn't like how it sounds. I started kind of overlaying stuff a little bit. But, um, alright guys, so we've cleared out kind of the first little uh, dungeon. If we go to our map and we pull up this place, I can't remember what it's called, yeah, um, Ember Shield Mind. Mine, and you see there's a little thing in parentheses, it's cleared, so that means I have cleared the mine. 
Um, I'm actually going to go through here and I'll probably do this off camera and mine all the um, iron ore that's in here. <laughs> Even though I don't need too much iron ore right now. Or iron right now. But yeah, I'll do that probably off camera. So let's go back to Skyrim. So, alright guys, um, I think that'll do it for this video. Um, like I said, I'm going to keep kind of break it up to where if I clear a dungeon, that'll be the, um, be one video. I don't know how long this video is. Probably, it's probably about 15 to 20 minutes or so. It shouldn't be too bad. But, um, once again, I apologize for the loading screens. <laughs> you know, that one wasn't, that one wasn't too bad. Oh, it's dark. Nice. Alright guys, I uh, hope you enjoyed the video. Um, let me make myself up where I can just look at my face. But yeah, I uh, hope you guys enjoyed the video. Um, this is Tanky x 13. Uh, peace. Oops, wrong button. Put that part out. Eventually I'll hit the right button.